Excuse me, sir, what is your eyesight? It's 40. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I say it is always given as a fraction. I hate you all. That is all. <laughs> what did you do then? Called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised. Hold up. What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap on TV and was weeping openly. Did you know that she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Objection! Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone on this Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho ho! After all, I am El Presidente. <laughs> Please continue. The victim. She ran away, but you gave chase. Hold up. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Comprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always... The victim ran to the left. Uh uh. Can I present him with uh, evidence? Yes. Present that. Objection! Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho ho! It is simple, I am Santa. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim was here. If the victim ran to the left as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Ah, very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run to the left, so he did he witness the killing? Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says right and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Ha! Both witnesses are telling the truth. Ha. Huh. I doubt it. Er, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. This is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He is not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he is not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co., of course. More specifically, he was standing here. The victim ran for the door. If he was watching from this point to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Ooh. That is where the killer was standing. Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this cold room will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Raspallions! <laughs> Objection! Postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho. I'm Santa. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. He's laughing? Hmm. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Your Honor. I may be allowed to testify once more. Yes, very well. Let's, let's hear your advice testimony, since I am in your pocket. Witness testimony. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow.
That was what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Smile. <laughs> hmm, does seem to make sense. I mean, hitting her... You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Cross-examination time. What do you mean by that? That is what I am about to explain. You Americans always so impatient, it does not become you. <laughs> I see what you did there again. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, he's a stereotypical American from the Japanese point of view. You sold the girl. Press. What do you mean first? First? That is what comes... <laughs> you speak English, right? Please, sit back, relax. I will try to use simple words for your benefit. First, you ran to the left. Then... And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Press. I'm pressing everything. I didn't hit anyone. Now, now, now. Mr. Wright. There is no point in hiding things from this court. I'm not hiding anything. Objection! The prosecution requested the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, do you have been warned? Why is he mad at me? Eh. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. Objection! What do you mean, next? Next is what comes after first. I know that! But that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. You chased her and delivered the final bro. Stop saying it was me. <laughs> that was my <laughs> that was my hold it moment. Stop saying it was me. Oh. Nope. Death blow by a blunt object. Victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Er, er. Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? I will refrain from using the phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yeah, see, so yes, quite. Objection! The witness is so confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Justice, don't let him get away. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White? Uh, okay. Okay. So, let's see. What's he got now? Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing falling, and then the next moment I saw Mia load to the left. Killer U attacked her, but she dodged, um, and then she turned and ran to the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap. Thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Uh, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. I am a lawyer, man. I come from the great north. <laughs> oh, man. This game's awesome. <laughs> Press. What thing fall? Yes, very odd. You're saying you saw a glass light stand? Yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. No, this is getting... Hold up! That's not right. The glass stand was lying on the floor. That is the first that I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? Why? Me? Well, I was instructed not to, but wait, one moment. Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I am so confused. White's falling apart. OBJECTION! Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. 
Very well, the witness may continue.